Hello, Florian. Hello. I'm Sarah from The Upcomings, and just kick off with an introduction, what can audiences expect from The Sun, um, and why you wanted to explore this topic, um, particularly following on from The Father. The Sun is also the adaptation of one of my plays that I wrote a few years ago, and uh, it's about um, a young adolescent going through depression and his parents trying to help him, wanting so hard to help him, to save him. They want to open the doors in a way, but they don't have the right keys. And um, it's a tragedy, and I think that tragedy is preventable. And that's why I wanted to, to share that story, to, in a way, to open a conversation on these topics. Uh, because I know by experience, as we do all, that there are so many people in pain struggling with this issue. It's like a, sorry, it's like a real um, pandemic also right now. And so I think art is also a way to, to share these stories in order to, you know, to open a conversation. And you've assembled such a wonderful cast that really capture the complexities and the nuances of each of these characters. Laura Dern, Anthony Hopkins, uh, the newcomer at Zen, but also Hugh Jackman, who I think really captures that outer layer of uh, toughened masculinity, but so much insecurity underneath. So what was it like working with these people, in particular Hugh? To make a film is really uh, a sentimental experience with the cast in general. But with Hugh in particular, it was something exceptional to me at least. I really love him as a human being and as an actor. And um, he's the one actually who came to me in the first place. He wrote to me that letter to say that he needed to, make, to do that part. And I was really moved by his humility and his honesty. And that's what I think we can feel in the film, you know, his honesty and his humility and his... Um, I mean, he, wa he really wanted to, you know, to jump into these emotions with no protection, trying to, um, to tell that story without, sh I mean, trying to, to do a great performance, but just, just to be himself in a way, to, to, to look, to explore in himself what he has to tell that story. And I, it takes a lot of courage to do that. And um, he's such a nice and beautiful human being. And that's so rare. And uh, I think you can feel that on screen. And what do you hope people will take away? I mean, it sort of hits on a number of issues, into the nature of intergenerational trauma, um, ideas of being a father, but also perhaps that love isn't always enough. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's an emotional journey. And, 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 I, and I don't want to tell something. I mean, I want everyone to have the liberty to, to find the, the message that, you know, are coherent with their own life. But um, mainly I would say that what matters to me is really to, to open that conversation and to remember that we don't have to judge people uh, that are in pain and just to accept them and to care for them and to, you know, to try to take the time to question how we look at them. Um, because here in that story you can see someone who is somehow blind because of his guilt. And um, so it, I would love people to open their eyes, I would say. Yeah, the sun is about, I mean, several things, but it's also about mental health issues, and it's uh, like an epidemic around us nowadays, I would say. There are so many people dealing with pain uh, by themselves, and so it was a way for me to open the conversation and to, you know, a film is like a mirror in, in which we can watch ourselves, question ourselves, and um, so this is what matters to me, uh, thanks to that film. Q is uh, the father of Nicholas. Nicholas is 17 years old and he's going through like, a depression and he's wanting to help him so hard. He's like a loving father, a caring father. But somehow it doesn't work. I mean, he wants to open the door but he doesn't have the keys. And that's why I wanted to make that film, you know, because I think we need to talk about um, these issues to be more able to, to deal with these situations. The truth is that uh, when I started thinking about uh, adapting the play into a film, he's the one who contacted me, uh, Hugh Jackman. He wrote me a letter to say, I know you're working on it and, and I know the play and if you're already in conversation with someone, please forget the letter, because it's like a gentleman. <laughs> but he said, if not, I would be happy to just meet with you to tell you why I should be the one to do it. And so, of course, I, I, I met him on Zoom because, uh, because I was really uh, surprised and moved by his honesty and humility to do that. And, and we started to have that conversation, but it was not like I was not planning to make any decision on the day, it was just a general meeting. 
but after five minutes I stopped the conversation and I said yeah it's, it's, it's for you because I felt strongly that you would be exploding right now because he is so honest as a human being so courageous um, and so emotionally intense that I, I knew that he would do something special and that he would be brave enough to accept to be filmed without any protection in a way just to be here with his heart in pain and to try to tell that story that matters to him and that matters to me. Yeah, I think it's so, in my own life, I can say that images, you know, they are creating new things in my own life, you know, in my emotions, in, in my way of thinking. And I know it's the same for everyone. So as a storyteller, I think there is a huge responsibility and also something about a tremendous excitement. Uh, I come from theater and you know, in theater you are in the room with the audience and you can feel in your body when emotions are shared and you can feel in your body that you are part of something bigger than yourself and this is something so intense and so simple at the same time and cinema is even stronger in that regard to make us feel like yeah, in the same boat sharing the same kind of struggles and uh, there is a constellation I would say to feel that you know we are all together uh, capable to share moments in a room and uh, emotions. Yeah it's a it's a very difficult subject because there is a lot of ignorance, a lot of shame, a lot of guilt around these topics. And that's really why I wanted to open a conversation with that film. What I feel is that you know we all know people that have everything in their life to be happy and still they are in pain and this is not their fault you know sometimes there is no reason why you are in pain i mean there are so many reasons and sometimes it's psychological sometimes it's also i mean uh, chemical and, and so of course when you're in pain you want to have like explanation you want to, you want to have something or someone to blame for but sometimes there is nothing and um, it's important to remember that meaning that we don't have to judge them, you know, we would never judge someone who has a heart issue and that's the same, uh, we have to accept them, a lot of people are in pain and just to take care of them with love and uh, with knowledge also.